Hello everyone, my name is JB3, and we are going to play one of my favorite games ever, a PS2 RPG called Xenosaga. This is Xenosaga Episode 1, Der Wils der Macht. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I do know it translates to the will to power. This is the first in a trilogy, and hopefully I'll have the time and the motivation to play through all three. I think I will. Um, it is my favorite trilogy of games. Final Fantasy is my favorite franchise of all time, but the Xenosaga games are my favorite trilogy. Hands down. If you are uh, familiar with or a fan of the game Xenogears, Xenosaga is essentially a spiritual prequel, and you will see lots of references directly or indirectly uh, referencing Xenogears. Mostly indirectly, just through familiar characters, names, faces, things like that. Uh, this game is developed by Monolith Soft. And the team responsible for this game is the t mostly the same team that it was responsible for Xenogears. Um, this game is fully voice acted. I will do little to no talking during the cutscenes. Um, I am playing the game on an emulator. And... Because of that, there is the possibility that we'll have some graphical glitches or bugs while we're playing. Um, hopefully not too many, and hopefully isn't anything that will hamper the experience. So, having said that, let's start Xenosaga Episode 1. there is hard, so be careful when you dig. Yes, sir. Doctor! Doctor Masuda! What is it? Did you find something? Yeah. We followed the corridor from the lakeside. It matches the location described in the that research paper. It. Good. Show us where it is. It's different from the others. I knew it! It's over there. Hmm. This must be...
And if you couldn't quite tell from just that first scene, this game has an absolutely phenomenal soundtrack. Top tier. Startup experiment. Open up an interconnection. Roger. Opening interconnection. Connecting with dummy protocol. A-line protocol zone secured. Opening cage partition. 60 seconds to release. Beginning countdown. 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51. side of the temporal lobe. I'm showing slight stimulation of the synapses in section 818. It's within permissible bounds, though. Do you want to abort? No. Let's keep going. Just stick to the menu. I'll try for a direct approach. Back me up. Roger. Launching Nata Roger connection system. Password accepted. Commencing Nataraja boot up sequence. with the visual field connection. Hmm. Ah, I see a small break in the MT field, route K12. 
It looks like the bi-directional link in the V4 field is lagged too. Hold on a minute. I'll fix it now. How is it now, Chief? Okay. Looks good. Let's keep going. Roger. Proceeding with Cosmos host separation. Morning, Cosmos. How do you feel? Good morning, Xi'an. All systems are normal. Well, how about introducing yourself? I am an anti-gnosis humanoid fighting system. Serial number 00000000001. Development name KPX. Abbreviated name Cosmos. As I am currently configured for simulated battle, my output is limited to 22% of its normal capacity. My estimated weapon specifications are... All right, that's good enough. Thanks. You are welcome. All I have for you today are the usual startup tests. Sorry to wake you up just for that. You'll have to go back to sleep once everything's checked out. I see. Do you feel sad or anything? A predetermined set of emotions has been hard-coded into my emotion module to better facilitate interactions with humans. In order to better facilitate a relationship with you, Chief Engineer Shion Uzuki of the Cosmos Project, Vector Industries' first R&D division, I will emit an expression such as sadness only when that response is deemed necessary. However, the emotion module of my program has determined that this is not necessary at this time. <laughs> I guess you're right. I, of all people, should know that. Your understanding is appreciated. But you know, Cosmos, I've got mixed feelings about all this. Of course, I'm happy that you're awake, but the fact that you'll go back to sleep makes me a bit sad. On the other hand, the next time you wake up, it may be a time of much bloodshed. So deep down inside, I hope that day never comes. Understand? The algorithms I have been programmed with do not support the comprehension of illogical human thought. Well, I hope you'll be able to understand someday. I will do my best. All right, Cosmos, shall we get started? Alan, let's pick up from process 277 where we last left off. Roger. Placing target drones in the encephalon. The drones are set to random movement and enemy ambush. How about a test run before the mission, Chief? Mm. Sure, let's do that. Did you get that, Cosmos? Affirmative. Virtual Tutorial During quests, you'll trigger a battle when you come in contact with an enemy. Here you'll need to talk to Cosmos, select from the menu, then approach the soldier to start the battle. Now, I am well familiar with this game. Uh, I've played the trilogy, I don't know, six or seven times, so I don't need to go through the tutorials. However, for the purposes of a Let's Play, I guess I'll do it. So let's talk to Cosmos. Target input complete, so let's do the tutorial for normal attacks. The battle program has been set, entering battle mode. Please approach the target. Your orders, Xi'an? Normal attack. The leftmost character in the group turn window, GTW, at the bottom right corner of the screen will get to go first. The character next to the leftmost character will follow thereafter. The order is reshuffled once the character icons disappear from the GTW. Characters that are not displayed on the GTW cannot make a move until the character order is rearranged. Press, le press left or right on the directional button to select the target and press square or triangle to perform a normal attack. There are three types of enemies, biological, mechanical, and gnosis. During the target selection, they are marked as B, M, and G. 
2 AP is used for each normal attack. Since you are given 4 AP each turn, you can perform up to 2 normal attacks. Alright, let's kill him. As a basic rule, square is a physical type, a type attack, where triangle is an ether type attack. So square is physical, and triangle is essentially a magic attack. Descriptions of ether type attacks are displayed in red. And then here we have the battle results screen where you can see at the top they have a clear time to tell you how long the battle took, which is really meaningless. It doesn't do anything. It's just for information. The amount of money you gained in battle, uh, your hit points and ether points, how much to the next level, how much experience you gained. And then on the right hand side you see T points, which stands for tech points, E points, which stands for ether points, and S points, which stand for special points and we'll get into those shortly and then on this screen if we did get any items they'd be listed here oh yeah chief almost forgot to mention about the body flashing phenomenon after a battle you'll flash for a few seconds during this time you won't trigger a new battle even if you come into contact with the enemy remember this okay okay all right so we did normal attacks now we'll do tech attacks Orders, Tech attacks. Six AP are required to perform a tech attack. If you only attack once and use X to end the turn, two AP are carried over to the next turn. Guarding is another effective method. Because you are given four AP each turn, they are added to the two carried over for a total of six AP. So essentially, if I use Xion's Firecracker attack, and then end the turn. Well, I'll read this first. If you only attack once and use X to end the turn, which is what I just did, two AP are carried over to the next turn. Yes, I know. You can now perform a tech attack with the 6 AP. Specific commands must be entered in order to perform a tech attack. Tech attacks for Xion. Square, square, circle is lightning blast. Triangle, triangle, circle is skull ray. And of course, you will learn others as you go throughout the game. So for Xion, let's do triangle, triangle, circle. And use skull ray. We'll defeat him with ease. Tech attacks for Cosmos. Square, square, circle is our blade. Triangle, triangle, circle is our cannon. And circle by itself is FG shot or FM shot. Warning, the sub-weapon attacks performed by pressing circle can only be used a set number of times per battle. Check to see if it can be used by looking at the panel to the right of the button display panel. The contents are ammo, EP consumed, required AP. The attack can only be used when all requirements are met. Okay, so... We'll use Punch, S Assault, and R Blade. Charging! that. Next is submenus. Do you really think this is a good idea? The submenu. When you press X without doing anything else, the submenu will appear. 
Ether, 4 AP consumed. Use ethers that have been set. EP is, re is required to use an, an ether. Or to use ether. Item, 3 AP consumed. Use items in your possession. If the intended item has a W next to it, the item can be used as a W item. How to use a W item. 6 AP is required to use W item. Place the cursor over an item, then press triangle to select. The item will have an effect on the entire group. Two items will be used, however, so W item will only work if you have at least two of the same item. Move. 2 AP consumed. Change positions during battle. Possible ways to, possible ways to attack and amount of damage received change depending on the location. And to be quite honest, you rarely ever have to use that. Perhaps once or twice. And AGWS, which is pronounced eggs. Eggs, 4 AP consumed. Enters the assigned eggs. Characters who are not assigned to an eggs cannot, cannot use this command. And finally, guard, 2 AP consumed. Reduces the amount of damage received. Also used to accumulate AP for attack attack. Escape commands do not exist in this game. You must use... You must use either an escape pack or Xion's goodbye in order to escape from the battle. Alright, so let's take care of these two. Or these three. Oh yes, boost. The boost gauge rises whenever a normal or tech attack successfully hits. When this gauge fills all the way, the boost counter goes up by one. Because it is difficult to raise the count in this battle, we will set the boost counter at 2. In order to use boost, the character must have at least one boost count and must not be displayed in the GTW in the lower right corner of the screen. Boostable characters are displayed when you press either R1 or R2 button. Characters without boost will not be displayed. The, dis the displayed characters are assigned from square, triangle, and circle starting from the left. By pressing the associated button, you can have the character cut in front, then perform a move right after the current character's move finishes. Moreover, it is possible to boost the, during the enemy's attack by pressing either R1 or R2 button. Your turn will come after the enemy's turn finishes. Alright, so what I can do is if I hit R2 and I press square, that means that instead of the enemy going next, Xi'an will go next. So let's take care of him. And now, even though I'm gonna win the fight now, if I, um, well, once this text box is done, if I boost again, I can boost Cosmos and she'll go after Xion. Okay, the small slot to the left of the GTW changes in the following order with each turn. Blink slot, uh, that's critical hit up, boost gauge up, and... I believe the last one is called a special skill slot, special point slot. This is the event slot. Okay. Effects of the slot icons. Critical hit rate up increases the chance of critical hits. Note, when this icon appears during the enemy's turn, their chance of critical hits increase. Boost gauge rate up becomes easier to raise the boost gauge. Simple enough. Special points up. Earn more special points. What are special points? Let's find out. Points can be earned by defeating enemies. By util utilizing the special points, players can increase and evolve the character's abilities beyond their normal level up. E-points. Ether points. Use the points to evolve ether spells or transfer spells to other characters. S points. Skill points. Draw out skills from accessories. T points, which are tech points, change the character's basic parameters. So, what I tend to do, and even though it, it can tend to drag out battles, I always try to win the battle with the special point slot, event slot active, so I earn more points at the end of the battle. <laughs> So I'm going to guard with Xion, or Cosmos, and now you can see the special skill slot is active. So when I win this fight, you see that point times two 
uh, notification up here. You can either get an extra, um, you can win two times the points, four times the points, or ten times the points. Obviously, ten times the points is the most rare and it doesn't occur nearly as often. But, um, we'll get more into those points once we get a little farther into the game. And lastly, we will switch to real combat. You want to move on to real combat? Alright then, I'll transport you, transport you to your original location after the battle is over. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Actual battle. From now on, the enemies will attack. Keep your eye on the attack order to avoid taking unnecessary damage. Defeat the enemy on the right first as it can attack everyone at once. Because the enemy in the middle has high HP, it is a good idea to defeat it using tech attacks. The enemies are separated into three types. Some attacks are effective against certain types, so study the descriptions of each attack. The following icons appear in the GTW. B is Biotype, and this Mech Type, and G is Gnosis Type. Alright, so... Defeat him first. And then once again, you can see the special skill slot icon is active, so we'll get extra points for defeating this enemy. And there we got point times 10, which again is most rare. Processes to 300 cleared. Chief, the data transfer is going smoothly. The A line protocol is looking good. It sure is. The response levels are really good. If we can maintain these levels, we'll have some great results soon. Yeah. Chief? Hey, Alan. Let's skip all 300 level processes, and start from 400. Huh? 400? Chief, but that's... I feel pretty confident this time. But, Chief... Remember what happened last time? Had we waited 10 more seconds to intervene, we wouldn't have been able to get you back at all. Can't we at least test it out in objective mode? You know we can't get precise data that way. I'll be fine. If something happens, I'll get myself out. Besides, you want to test it out as well, don't you? We spent all night building the native A-line protocol. Well, yeah, but... That settles it. Let's get started. All right, then. But if anything happens, I'm going to shut it down from here. So don't press your luck. All right, all right. And don't deviate from the program. Okay, Mom. Jeez, this is so typical of her. Will she ever stop to think about the hell I go through for her? You know, sir, the way you worry about Chief Uzuki all the time. I'm surprised you haven't keeled over already. Uh, hey, that's enough. Is the 400 level program ready to go? We're ready to go anytime. Then start up the program. I want detailed reports from every monitoring station. Any abnormalities, and I'm shutting down immediately. Kosnos, I'll explain a bit about this place. 
This place is an imaginary space constructed within the network. It's modeled off, off of some ruins from the early 2000 AD. Your mission is to fight the main target within the dilapidated building. The target is marked with, a red, with the red vector box. There are objects in here that can be detonated. Some are effective if you set them off near the enemy. Use them to your advantage. Now then, let's start the mission. Yes, understood. All right then, let's start the mission. Nothing over there. Target locked on. Now that object I detonated, combat. this group of enemies hit that or touched it. And the effect is that um I believe the boost gauge will now uh, increase faster and all the enemies are slowed. what I'm doing and I don't think I can do it this fight. Well, I can't do it anyways because I just killed him by accident. What I wanted to do was try to try to keep guarding until one of my characters had the special skill slot event active, but I screwed that up. It doesn't really matter this early in the game, but all battle systems are go. In those uh, special skill event slots, always go in the same order. So it will always go from the blank slot to critical up to boost gauge up to the special skill slot. That never changes. Now let's see if I can get it active for one of these characters. I don't think I can. I think it's always going to land on the... Uh, it's always going to be active when the enemy is attacking. Yep, it is. So I can't do it for this fight. But that's okay. little nitty nap on the bottom right hand corner of the screen you are the red icon and the yellow icons are enemies your orders Xion Alright, we got point times two for killing him. And another point times two. And both she and Kosnos have hit level two. Two neg kits acquired. This is where we need to go. Ah, here it is. This should be the room. But we need a mission key. Looks like I need a mission key to open this door. Yes, you do. Freeze! Okay, here we go.
can't enter this door from this side. It won't open from this side. I think it's locked. I think you are right. Let's go this way first. Obtained revive, and spoiler alert, they revive. So, because he hit that, um, okay, here we that go. flame effect, you can see that Chiana Kosnos now have a, a boost gauge already set to one. Eggs. In this battle, it is possible to pilot an eggs by selecting eggs in the sub menu. First, select eggs from the menu. Next, use the right left directional button to select its position and press circle to call it. Your turn is over after it is called. Controlling the eggs. The eggs attack with square and triangle. Consumed AP vary with different weapons. Furthermore, the sub menu will change slightly. W Act. This is available when the same weapons are equipped on both arms. 6 AP is required. Ether cannot be used. Item. This cannot be used when piloting an eggs. Move. This changes your position. Changing position can alter the amount of damage received and they limit your attack. And then selecting eggs again once you're already in an eggs. This will make you exit the eggs. Your turn eggs ends after you exit the eggs. Guard. This reduces the amount of damage received. This is a good way to accumulate AP. Warning. You will not be able to recover during the battle if the eggs HP reaches zero. And believe it or not, uh, even though they try to make a big deal out of eggs, there's only really a couple of instances in the game where you have to use an eggs. And other than that, they're actually kind of worthless in the game. Cosmos has reached the checkpoint. Entering process 431. Replacing targets with Type-G drones. Commencing display.
Chief, I have changed the settings on the target drones. The next target is keyed to sound, so it will only respond if you make a loud noise. You can move quietly if you hold down the R2 button while moving. Also, that thing behind you is a save point. If you press the O button there, you can save your progress. Make good use of it. Alright, so I'm gonna save. However, I am also going to... I'm also going to um, use a save state. And the reason for that is, if you're playing this on an emulator, there are a few save points in the game where trying to use the save point will crash the game. And as far as I know, there is not a workaround around it. So I will use save states when I get to save points. And in fact, one of those save points that will crash the game is coming up shortly. I think it's actually the next save point you come across. Your orders, Xi'an? Shin really can't damage these guys very well. And again, I know it looks like I'm dragging the battle out, which I am. Because again, I like to try to make good use of the special skill slot. Hmm. See, I just used boost there with Xi'an so she could cut in front, and that way I could guarantee that her turn would come up while that uh, the special skill slot was active. Now I can go ahead and kill him and get some extra points.
Chief, items aren't the only things that are inside containers. Well, now you tell us. Obtained ether pack. Obtained two Ned Kit S. Discovered segment address number 10. These are essentially secret doors that are littered throughout the game that you need special keys to open and um, they contain special items that are used for various things. And despite how many times I've played this game, I don't think I've ever actually opened all of the secret doors. Alright, let's save again. However, before we do that... Oh my gosh, hit the right button, GB. Let's heal up. We'll use an ether pack on Xion. Let's save again. And there is the mission key, which is what we needed. Now I can unlock the door. The lock has been removed. So now I walk slowly. These enemies should not notice me. However, I do want to fight him, but I want him to get close enough to this detonation object so I can take advantage of it. And of course, <laughs> I can't get into the fight, so GG me. Well, that worked according to plan. Airborne enemies. Against airborne enemies, use triangle, direct line attacks. You cannot use square, close range attacks. Now, if you heal while the uh, critical event slot is active, I believe you heal for more. Let's see if I'm recalling this correctly. No, I guess not. <laughs> Never mind, forget what I said.
Okay, they both hit level 3. Obtained an ether pack. Alright, so let's heal up, and then in the next room there's the first boss fight of the game, and one thing you will notice, um, which I've never understood with this game, even though I love the game, one of the odd things about it is the game only has one battle thing for the whole game except for the final boss. Every fight you get into, it's the same regular battle theme except for the final boss. There is no boss music per se in this game, other than the last fight. Inserted the mission key. Let's do this. Here we go. Kosnal's having a little seizure. What's going on? A brand new network is being created within the Cosmos mainframe. We've never had a reaction like this before. This is incredible. I've never seen the net grow so fast. Look at it, sir. Portions of the Encephalon map are evolving. What the... Alan, I'm going to engage the target. Make sure you capture all the data. What? You cannot engage right now. You're tapped into Cosmos Perception. It's too unstable. Don't worry. We can pull it off. What do you mean, don't worry, Chief? Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. I got five hit points left, but I want that so I want that slot. There we go. The enemies have been exterminated. So far so good. Shift target to real mode. We'll test the Hilbert effect. What? Chief, you're supposed to follow the program! Cosmos, activate Hilbert. Roger. Activating Hilbert effect. I knew this would happen! Status! This is bad. Something's wrong in the Encephalon. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. What? What about the Chief? You're in danger! Get out of there now! Hold on! Just a little longer! Chief! Nerve impulse is in the limbic system! We've got Kinley! That's enough! Shut it down! Pull her out of there now! Roger! Entering shutdown command! It's been rejected! The Chief's overriding us! We can't control it from here! What? Ten seconds to encephalon collapse! Sir! Damn it!
Xena Gears fans should recognize that face. Chief! Chief? Are you all right? Uh, yeah, thanks. Did I push my luck a little too far this time? Huh. Alan? You can't keep doing this, Chief. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Sorry about that, but I bet the data's really good. Besides... Was there something else? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Well, we better get started on that data. Today's our deadline, so I'm sure they'll be asking for it soon. Attention, please. We are scheduled to gate out in approximately three minutes. All hands, please return to your designated areas immediately. Once again, attention, please. We are scheduled to gate out. ships gate out complete shifting main engine to stealth mode maintaining current speed until sector withdrawal exit from current space set at absolute time 1300 on the 22nd seven hours 16 minutes and 30 seconds to withdraw next umn column in seven hours 36 minutes all gate jumps from other sectors will remain offline until then So, we're almost home. Yes, sir. Our final gate jump is at the next column. We're almost there. We made it this far, we'll be fine. The odds of contact between columns is statistically low. Besides, this asteroid field we're in is perfect for hiding the fleet from them. Huh. So, Pollyanna thinks those asteroids are going to protect us. I... I'm sorry, sir. A bit testy today, aren't we, Commander? Huh? Is something wrong? No. Of course not. Ever since we picked up that object ten days ago, everyone's been a bit jumpy. And we still have a ways to go before we hit comm space. I can empathize with the Commander. Hmm. Uh... Captain? Can you... Uh, debrief us on the current situation? Our original orders from the Galaxy Federation were to investigate the vanished planet and assist the researchers. But ever since we picked up that object, it feels like everything's changed. What exactly is that thing anyway? Who knows? I haven't heard a thing from the research team. But, as I mentioned before, Apparently, they're after the object, too. 
That's unofficial info, of course. What about the rumor regarding the casualties during the retrieval process? Even if it were true, that's none of our business. The research team has their own orders to deal with. The only explicit instructions we've received state that should any salvageable objects exist in the area, their retrieval takes top priority. Top priority? What does that mean? What it means is, over our very lives, Now, now, no need to scare them. Those orders merely reflect the importance of this operation to the Galaxy Federation government, that's all. Just stay sharp and be careful. That makes sense, sir. The entire fleet was renovated for this mission. Besides, if there's an emergency, we've got the trump card to fall back on. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, speaking of which, what's the latest on that situation? They're scheduled to turn in the A7 reports today. A7, eh? Only one step away from fully operational. It's about time, I suppose. Lieutenant, please ask Chief Uzuki to come to the bridge once her data's ready. Ask her to bring all the previous data as well. Yes, sir. What trump card? Was he referring to that battle android? That's right. You didn't know? Wow, so it's true. Hey, I heard that project's really behind schedule. You can't blame them. There were casualties during their last boot-up test two years ago. They're being more careful this time. It's hard to believe they're making an android in this day and age. The only place I've ever seen them is in old space novels. Well, Trump card or not, it's still an experiment. And it ain't like one android's gonna make that much of a difference. The whole project's just a chance for those Vector guys to show off. Someone's outdated hobby, that's all. I heard that even their commercial models differ greatly between those that have seen action and those that haven't. They say ignorance is bliss. Looks like they were right. Commander! I'm just envious, that's all. Sure. I'll be there in 30 minutes. They certainly didn't waste any time. See? I'm usually right about these things. Chief Uzuki, here's the data you requested. Will that be all? Thanks. This should be good enough. I'll take care of the rest. Um, Chief, do you have a second? Yes. The military is expecting actual field data for Cosmos. Is it right for us to keep giving them simulated data like this? Well, I must admit, you got me there. But honestly, if it were up to me, I'd keep her here, safe in her dream world forever. But why are you so afraid to put her to real work when you push her so hard in the simulations? I can't wait to see Cosmos up and completely functional. Couldn't you at least try taking her up to Phase 3? That should be no problem for her by now. Phase 3 in a simulated battle config? Come on. We're not about to wake our little princess for that. Here's a summary of Cosmos' main equipment from the 2nd Division. This should help you with the guys upstairs. Thanks. I'm sure it will. By the way, Chief, what do you think of the NWS and the eggs? It's just dummy data created inside the Encephalon, but it was pretty exciting stuff, wasn't it? If neither have problems during this test, all that remains are the functionality tests during using actual models. It worked pretty well. 
The MWS in particular felt right to me. I sent something contrived in that, though. Well, I hear Miyuki is closely involved with the MWS. I'm sure she's up to something again. Oh, by the way, could you send the connection gear data to headquarters for me? You know the vaporizer plugin that we use to destroy obstacles? I wonder if they're also going to manufacture it based on our test data. I swear, they pile everything they can on us under the pretext of testing Kosmos. Well, it's inevitable considering they have a lot of other concerns, like the budget. Okay, now, like I said a little while ago, there are a few save points in the game that will cause the game to crash if you're playing on an emulator. And this is one of them. So, if you watch this video, and you decide to play this, and you play on an emulator, do not try to save the game right here, or it will, or it will crash. So, I'm going to create another save state. And I was going to call it quits here for this part, but I think I will go on a little further. Perhaps to the next save point. Which may or may not be that far away. Now I have to remember where to go. Although I've played this game about a half a dozen times. It has been around five years. All right, see you later. Okay, good luck. Uh, <clears throat> well, back to work. Yeah, so Alan's thirst for Xion is quite real. Oh, Chief, are you going to present your report? Good luck! Shipnap, current location, Corridor 1. Let's see, I take the elevator up to get to the bridge, I think. When you have lost sight of the path, when you have become lost in life, seek information. Information will surely give you a glimmer of hope. Oh, I have an email. Press release from Vector VectorCon Incorporated. VectorCon Inc. would like to take this opportunity to announce its new connection gear products. The Rio 680RR and the Rio 650RS. No idea if I pronounced that right. These products provide Im improved connection capabilities to the UNN access nodes, which is a highly sought after feature in connection gear. Plugin module function. Adding a plugin is a very simple way to enrich software capabilities. It is also possible to control the Rio's hardware functions themselves through the plugin. Hi-Res 3D Holographic Monitor generates accurate 3D images using a particle wave laser. It also supports window view mode for the sole purpose of displaying essential information in 2D. I know I'm reading all this out loud, but it's most of it's kind of meaningless info, but I'm going to read it anyway. Sleek lightweight body. Although compact and weighs, more, weighs near 60 grams, it is fully loaded with the perfect balance of all essential features in a connection gear. Clan slash four thin client. Okay. Clan FTC is the routing system on the Rios and is meant for lightweight clients. Clan is a scalable system that works in architecture of varying sizes. Clan makes it possible to use imaginary machines and storage inter interspersed throughout the UNN. It is possible for you to make practical use of the computing power you are looking for as long as it's within the Rios bandwidth. Ange, or A-N-G-E. No idea what that means. Pro curators employ a small AI named A-N-G-E, and they can get possible to gather and search information faster. Its improved speech recognition function makes it possible to communicate even using vague expressions. Okay. Okay. 
So, VectorCon finally announced their latest model of connection gear, the Rios. They sure did, but guess what? I heard the Rios 680RR model, or I had the Rios 680RR model, even before they made the, f the official announcement. With my connection gear, I can get all sorts of information by establishing and maintaining an on-demand network with the UNN. Yeah, the UNN has two very important roles in this world governed by the Galaxy Fed Federation government. One role is traffic infrastructure via leaks in space. As a result, even interstellar travel is made easy. I see. In the other role? The UN then is an information sor source that uses a large decentralized network system. We employ agent-like AI called cur procurators like yourself to navigate us around this giant network called the Unis Lundis Network, or the UNN. That's right. Well, allow me now to perform my duties as a procurator. I'll give you a little more information about emails. New emails received will be displayed above old ones, which means the newest emails will always be displayed at the top of the list. I have to be careful because the sorting order is different from the items list. Yeah, and note that some emails request a reply. Most of those emails must be answered within a fixed amount of time, so it's best to reply as soon as possible. Okay, I will make it a point to reply ASAP. One more thing, you can, you can skip to important parts of emails by pressing square. Be sure to give it a try. By the way, you should have received tutorial emails from the, from the first R&D division about equipping eggs and characters. Please refer to them if there is anything you don't understand. Got it. Lastly, about the connection gear functions used during the encephalon test. Are you talking about the Vaporizer plugin? Its functions allow the, destru the destruction of specific objects on the map. It can actually be used if it clears the next simulation test. Yeah, I bet it'll get a perfect score on the test, and it's just a matter of time before someone gives you one of those Vaporizer plugins. Oh, by the way, don't you need to go see the captain? You're right, I'd better go to the bridge to see the captain. I don't think in the future I'm going to read all of these, because most of it's kind of meaningless mumbo jumble. I have a bad feeling about this mission. I hope it's just my imagination. I have a bad feeling about this mission, but I can't put my finger on why. It's just a weird, uneasy feeling. I agree with you. Some strangers are transporting odd objects into that hangar over there. There's something very odd about this mission. She's really got you trained, hasn't she, sir? What? Train? What do you mean? Hey, what are you smiling at? Hurry up and get back to work. I'm on it. See how he always changes the subject? What was that, Togashi? Nothing at all, sir. You're just hearing things. I swear. Huh? What's up? Still not convinced? Oh, no. It's not that. It's just... I know how you feel, but you saw what happened just now. Even the chief is cautious sometimes. Besides... Oh, that's right. You just transferred in a month ago, right? I guess you couldn't have known. You mean the accident from two years ago? Well, I've heard about it, but I don't know any details. The two of you can be alone. Why don't you ask her out while you're at it? We can handle the rest by ourselves. This is your big chance. I told you guys, it's not like that. I'm crying out loud. It's not like that, but he wishes it was. 
Anyway, I'd better get this to her. Good luck! Yeah. Go, Tiger! Jeez! They just don't know when to quit. It's not like I don't want to. I just can't. run like ours. Still here, huh? Killing yourself over work won't get you very far. Oh. How are you? I had to get this data done before morning, so I... Well, what are you doing here so late, Kevin? You'd better get some sleep. We've got an early morning ahead. Here, this is for you. Thank you. To tell you the truth, I haven't been able to sleep lately. Something's been on my mind. On your mind? Tomorrow she's finally going to wake up. I'm looking forward to seeing her come to life, but... I have no idea what to say to her when she wakes up. It's been bothering me. I'm just being weird, huh? Why don't you just say, Good morning, Cosmos. Good morning? Well, that's what you say to someone when they wake up, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks. I think I can finally get some sleep now. Glad to help, sir. You should get some rest, too. All right. Well, good night. Good night. Yeah. Everybody's so eager to see her.
There's that strange girl again. on me already! Get the hell out of here! My men will start slacking off if they see bimbos like you around! I'm so sorry. Who's the idiot that left civilians on this ship? What the hell are you staring at? Oh. Ness, I've got some information I'd like to share with you. Well, are you interested in hearing about it? No, no, it won't be much trouble for you at all. How about it? Uh, only if it's quick. Ah, wonderful. Well then, first, could you please give me your email address? No, no, you never know who might be listening in, right? The safest way to share a secret is through email. Sure, that's fine. Don't worry, you won't regret it. Well now, it's settled then. Let's see. Everything appears to be in order. I'll send you an email in a little while. Don't worry, it won't take too long. Please be on the lookout for it. Um, excuse me. Is the Lieutenant Commander still here? Is he still barking orders? Um, yes he is. so surprised? Didn't you forget something important? You know, it's dangerous wandering around in a daze like that. Yeah. Sorry. I was just thinking about something. Are you alright? Huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm just not myself today. Thanks for stepping in back there. Ah, uh, no. I, I should have spoken to the new guy earlier. So, you don't need to thank me. But, it would really help if you would try to understand their feelings more. I, I know everyone's still a little uneasy about Cosmos, but they've been pouring their hearts and souls into this project. They all want to see with their own eyes the end results of what they've been working so hard to complete. I feel the same way myself, you know? I know that. It's just that I... 
Chief. The incident, right? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I see. You're... Hmm? Sorry, that's not quite it. Forget about it. It's nothing. Let's just hurry up and get Cosmos completed, okay? Oh. Who could that be? More Realian maintenance? They really should stop calling you all the time. Technically, it's a violation of regulations for you to deal with other divisions. Besides, aren't they expecting you on the bridge? Oh, don't worry about it. I don't want to brush them off. Besides, it's on the way, and I've got some time. See ya. Oh. I forgot to ask her out after work. Why won't this thing work properly? Uh, oh, I should bring the Reali Realian service data with me. I think I left it in my room. I better go get it. Let's see, if I remember correctly, the room is straight down this corridor. How can you not exactly know where your room is? Oh, the red switch over there. Oh, the red switch there is the switch to open and close the bulkhead. Please don't mess with it. Yeah, let's press it anyway. Manual lockdown of bulkhead activated. The passageway will now close. Please use caution near the closing doors. Let's track that guy in. Oh, now you've done it. I told you not to mess with it. Please put it back the way it was. I'm the one that gets yelled at. Fine, fine. Bulkhead lockdown deactivated. The passageway will now open. Please use caution near the opening doors. I think I made that dude shit himself. Stop picking on me. I can't take it. Mama! Another segment door. Discovered segment address number 18. And I think this is Xion's room. No, maybe not. Would you like to rest? Yes. HP and EP restored. Okay, so this is not Xion's room. Now, we'll do a save state here just to make sure I don't crash. And I did crash. Okay, so that's another save point that you can't use. Fortunately, I did make a save state. There we go. No, I would not like to rest. Oh, wait, what's this? Obtain maintenance data. Oh, I got an email from the Yuki. I wonder what it is. Xi'an, how are you doing? Thank you for the young WS, the weapon you used in your left hand during battle. Data from the test we ran alongside Kosnos in the Encephalon. I've moved one step forward with my magnificent plans thanks to you. Now the only thing I need is a real test. So I have sent you a real NWS. It should reach you soon. If the Gnosis attack now, they're so dead. Doing these tests provides a bit of aerobic exercise and they even have some weight loss effects. So in a way, it's like you're killing two birds with one stone. Please make sure you pick it up when it arrives. Miyuki. P.S. I lost three, three kilograms. You see, it, it's just like I said. The apple diet really works. A magnificent plan? What in the world is that girl planning?
Oh, Miss Suzuki, do you know anything about the Gnosis? Let's say not really, even though I am familiar. Did you know? The Gnosis can appear anywhere and everywhere, even in space or inside a ship. Just thinking about it makes me so scared I can't sleep. I haven't gotten decent sleep ever since I got assigned on this ship. Sorry, but you won't be able to go this way for a while. Don't I have to go this way? Oh no. I am going the wrong way. I want to go... This way. Oh, Chief Uzuki, Lieutenant Cascase? Cascase? Let's say Cascase. That sounds a little less stupid, I think. Lieutenant Cascase wants to talk to you about tuning up the Realians. I hear the Lieutenant was just a military doctor after being commissioned, so he can't do anything by himself. It must be tough for you getting called in like this all the time. Not at all. I enjoy talking with the Realians. What are the Realians? We will find out eventually. Hello, you rang? My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy too, after all. So? What's the problem today? Well, I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. But the integration is not going very smoothly. You're right. He's rejecting the data. Let's see. Let's see, I just need to check the realians lying on the maintenance bed, right? Yes, thank you for your help. How is that? It's just a temporary fix, though. Yes, I cannot express it appropriately, but I feel like some weight has been lifted. Everything feels a bit brighter. Thank you very much. That should do it. Well, do you have any dizziness or anything? No, I am fine. We are combat models, so even our training causes heavy wear and tear. Regular tune-ups like this are very much appreciated. No, 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 I really didn't do much. Hmm, nothing seems particularly unusual. Are you not feeling well? I have been studying fables and proverbs, but I am unable to use them properly, and I am always being laughed at. Hmm, but your linguistic, your linguistic center doesn't seem to have any abnormalities. Okay, your values are stable. I don't see any particular problems. Understood, then I will return to my duties. Wait a minute, I think you could express a bit more joy. Maybe your emotional expression isn't working right. I wonder what's wrong. Your brain waves seem to be chaotic. Um, ever since I was assigned to the Waglinde, I haven't been the same. I've, slo I've slowly lost mental composure, and my body has begun to manifest minute spasms. Hmm, the shake with these waves, could it be fear of battle? Um, lately I find functional imp impediments occurring when communicating with a certain person. My pulse becomes rapid, perspiration increases, and I become unable to articulate well. Hmm, that's odd. I wonder if it's an OS bug. Uh, no, I believe he's just thirsty. Well, I've made some adjustments, but please contact 3rd Division once we return. 
I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. I'll be sure to do so. You know, I'm really impressed. Providing Realian psych support on top of developing Cosmos? I hear even specialized counselors have a hard time... Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor taught me. I'm glad I could be of help. Besides, I always wanted to work in the third division. Actually, I'm thinking about requesting a transfer once my current work's finished. But Vector's first R&D division has the best researchers in the organization. Everyone knows not just anyone can get in there. Are you sure that you want to transfer? Oh, yes. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the first division? There must have been a mistake in the paperwork. Who knows? Maybe they're right. Sounds Besides, like your family's assholes. I want to learn so much more about them. What's learning about them going to do for you? Lieutenant Virgil. Their stench. What? It reeks. I can't get their rotten odor out of my system. Can't you smell it? It makes me sick to my stomach. Huh? What are you... <gasps> That's enough. You got your orders from the Lieutenant Commander, didn't you? One of the goals of this operation is to enhance combat support between the Eggs and the new model Realians. And yet your... Support? Huh. In a battle against them? The last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested, weapons-grade Realians. Um... Excuse me, but these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people? You're treating equipment like people? Oh, you really shouldn't say things like that. These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of Realians when it was ratified in 4763. What a load of crap. Get off your soapbox. You act noble and preach about humanity, but in the end, they're just equipment as far as your company's concerned. Or maybe... more like merchandise. We don't treat them anything like equipment or merchandise. Then why do you categorize them as weapons-grade realians? How much more evidence do you need than that? Whatever you care to call them, they're nothing but tools of warfare. Besides, I know your little secret. You guys have an emergency override code to control them, don't you? Uh. Virgil! Why are you... Huh? What do you want? It is as you say, sir. We are manufactured as merchandise and raised accordingly. However, I take great pride in what I do now. And this pride was not forced upon me. It is of my own free will. <laughs> free will, huh? Well, good for you. You'd better just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. Is he... a DME addict? Alright, let's, let's talk to him one last time and then we'll move on. 
guess he has nothing to say. So, never mind. My apologies, Ms. Uzuki. He wasn't always like that. But then, something happened. Is he an old acquaintance? We were classmates at the military academy, and I've been stuck with him since then. It was Milsha. I see. So... That's why. You knew about that, huh? Then again, anyone planning to join the 3rd Division would know. Well, I... I'm from Milsha. Huh? Of course, no one's allowed to go there anymore. My family moved to Second Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. And my brother still lives there alone. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring back painful memories. Oh, it's all right. After all, it's something we must never forget about. For our sake and theirs as well. Oh no! I forgot I had to report to the bridge. Sorry, I'll come back to check on them later. Bye! Some of the soldiers were drafted unexpectedly, so the troop formation is not quite up to par. If the Gnosis attacked us now, I don't know if we can fight them head on. Vector employees are all such polite, friendly people. I was under the impression that researchers were all uptight, so I was a little surprised. Hey, that container doesn't belong there. Take it to block three. What are you doing? Take all the ammo to the eggs hangar. Hi, Xion. You're looking cute as usual. Hello, Mr. Holgar. Hey now, quit with the formalities. Call me Mr. Driller. The Driller, you, did you say? I'm really skilled at using the drill crane. So much so, I wish the drill council would acknowledge it. Of course, Susunu Hori and I are equals when it comes to drilling. Don't ever confuse me for a run-of-the-mill drill worker. Um, Mr. Holgar? Mr. Hol- I mean, Mr. Driller? What is it, Xi'an? I have to get going. Bah, that doesn't matter at all right now. A clumsy worker caused an accident, and they can't work because the wreckage is in the way. That's where my drill crane and I come in. But even with an awesome driller like me, this is one heck of a tough job for just one guy. It's tough, real tough for just one guy. That's where you, my cute little Xi'an, come into the picture. You've answered my drill call. Am I right? I'm right, aren't I? You'll do it, won't you? You'll help my noble cause, won't you? Dude sounds like a perv, but uh, maybe I should give it a try. Um, Mr. Holt, Mr. Driller? I'll give it a try, but I may not be able to fully appreciate drilling like you do. Yeah? You'll take, o take over my drill then? Okay, first, I'll teach you how to operate the drill crane. Listen closely. Operating a drill is not about reflexes or clever techniques. It's all about heart and the soul within. Passion for your drill will allow you to operate the drill as you wish. Boy, he's really gone off the deep end. Now, I'll show you how to operate the drill. Listen carefully and get all this down, okay? Get this all down, okay? First, I'll explain vertical movement. If you press the square button, the drill will start moving vertically. If you let go, the drill will stop right at that spot. Even if you keep pressing the button, it, the drill will stop once it's reached the edge of the rail. Before moving the drill, you can move the camera freely using the left analog stick. You can also switch between camera, cameras using the R2 button. You'll need to switch cameras to determine the drill's precise location, so be sure to make good use of them. Moving the drill is a one-shot deal. Operate the buttons carefully. When you're done moving vertically, you can move the crane horizontally. Switch cameras using the R2 button and use the square button to move the drill. 
just like you did when moving the, the crane vertically. Of course, this is also a one-shot deal that you can't do over. When you're done moving vertically and horizontally, the drill will do the work on its own. The drill will come down and destroy anything under it. Obviously, nothing will happen if nothing's there. If you miss, you can always do it over again, and if you want to quit, the crane will stop if you press the X button. That's everything you need to know about the drill. Well, what do you think? Simple, right? Hmm, I think I get it. Sort of. I got it already. Okay. I don't really remember doing this before. <laughs> as many times as I've played this game. Okay, so what happens here? Okay. Uh, screwed that up. Like one more to go. And that's everything. Phew. Looks like I finally got it done. Not too shabby. I knew you had a passion for drilling, Chion. Never giving up, even when you miss. That's the most important quality in a driller. Uh, um, well, thanks. Thanks to you, everything is nice and tidy again. Here, a token of my thanks. It's a drill passport. Drill passport obtained. Here's a little something extra. Go ahead, it's yours. Obtained a med kit. There's an email for Xi'an. Oh, let's just skip to the important part. See Gnosis data via the following menus. So you open the main menu, select UNN, UMN, select database, select Gnosis. See keyword data via, via the following menus. Go to the main menu, select UNN, select database, and select keyword. Please visit the Omega Byte store again soon. So this is just letting you know where to go in the menus if you want to give more information about various things in the game. The fact that you received email from the Omega Byte store must mean you'll be able to use the UNN database in the near future. Very perceptive. By the way, why did you select keyword in Gnosis as your databases? You have a reason, don't you? Of course. The reason why I thought of using keyword is because I can file all the keywords that come up in conversation in a database. That way, I can always go back and check the detailed description later. I am pretty familiar with most technical terms, but sometimes keywords that I don't know the definitions for appear. Oh, I see. I selected Gnosis just in case. There is a possibility, possibility that I will have to fight them in the future, right? I agree with you. You probably won't be able to get by, uh, get by evading battles with Gnosis. On top of that, you may be placed in a situation where you have to fight the same type of Gnosis more than once. Right. That's why I thought the best thing to do was gather data on them. Okay. So let's get out of there. And we're not going to talk to them. The Waglinde is truly a powerful ship, but I am unable to express in words how wonderful I think the ship really is. 
Please go and have a walk around the ship and enjoy the greatness of this craft for yourself. As you can see, I just hit another save point that crashes the game. Hey, hey, those are my quarters. Don't be snooping around. Oh, sorry. Well, it's not like you can get on without the key anyway. Okay, so I'm trying to find Chion's room. Once I find Chion's room, we will call it quits. Hey, Shion! Over here! Right here! Oh, it's Sergeant Swain. Hello, Sergeant Swain. Is something the matter? I've got something for you. I'm going to present you with the results of my research. Research? You mean your hobby of investigating all the doors on the ship? Yup, that's it. But I'm not just investigating the doors. Well, want to know what I'm researching? Uh, sure. You know how the nanomachine core is still a black box just like it was when it f just like when it was first developed? It's a secret, but I hear it has a bug. If used for building and construction, it has a tendency to create useless corridors with locks. This poses no real harm, so it's best, so it's been kept under wraps. I just happened to find the secret documents describing the bug. And, and this is a collection of all the hidden passages from all over the world based on that document. This is the secret to my personal hidden warehouse. There are still 17 or 18 that I haven't opened yet. I still cer I search for them every time we disembark, but it's tough. Well, doesn't it seem fun? Almost like a treasure hunt, right? Oh, the ones on this ship are mine, so don't open them. Or rather, you already found a door? That's nice, Xi'an. You're sharp as attack. Uh, thank you very much. Obtain segment file. Discovered segment address number seven. What do you think of the segment file? If you think it's interesting, search patiently. Even if you find the entrance, the key is sometimes in a totally different place. You know, I've got a bad feeling about this particular mission. Maybe your intuition improves over the years. If something happened to me, would you find all the remaining doors for me and open them? I just hate to leave things unfinished. Hey, there's an email for Xi'an. Read the email, don't read the email. Let's read the email. <laughs> this is a, uh... <laughs> I'm not gonna bother reading it. It's just a shameless plug for another Namco game called Ninja Assault. But that's all that is. This must be the interesting email someone mentioned at beginning earlier. It sounds like fun. I enjoy video games. Yep, shameless plug. I think that takes to the bridge, I think. But I want to find Xion's room. Can't go in there. There's a switch. Press it. Yes. Well, let's see if this save point crashes the game. 
Yes, it does. Boy, I don't remember that happening so often the last time I played this on an emulator. Sheesh, look at those two. They've been nicking out in there the whole time. Get a room for crying out loud. Another segment door, segment address number 16. Oh, yeah, I don't think I want to be here yet. Well, let's see. What's this way? Oh, takes you right back here. Okay. I don't know how I missed Xion's room. Go to the bridge. I don't want to go to the bridge yet. Where is her room? Let's see. I went that way before. Maybe it's down this way. Uh, I guess not. Alright, well, I'm going to create a save state here, and this is where I'm going to call it quits for this part. Okay, so we have the safe state in place. Uh, hope you enjoyed part one. Plenty of more Xenosaga to come. Uh, my name is JB3, and I will see you next time. Take care.